Gavin Bond, photographer, director. <laughs> we're shooting two unbeaten athletes. You know, we're shooting Richard Riakpour, who's an unbeaten boxer, and we're shooting Constitution Hill, Britain's greatest racehorse. And I had some kind of crazy idea of marrying the two of them together. I always wanted to work with Richard, and he's an incredible athlete, and I saw him when he was modeling for Burberry as well, and he was just something I'd always wanted to shoot. And the plan was originally, I was just going to go down to Loughborough and watch him train and, you know, hit a few bags and all of that. But for whatever reason, I was kind of looking at a boxer's wraps and their hands and then how they wrap the leg of a horse. And then, I mean, like in fitness, they use those heavy black ropes. I looked at that and then the mane of a horse. And I thought it'd be really interesting to marry the two together. So the idea with the wardrobe is it's pretty much all black. Because okay. I would kind of, Midnight train, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, the yeah. thing, the horses, yeah. the whole thing. With then little pops of like silver, just accents of things. I was speaking to Gavin. He said he had a, a cool idea, this concept of me shooting with one of the best racehorses in the world. I thought that was, that was quite interesting, you know. I've never heard of any crossover like this before. And what a time to do it with a bit of modeling, fashion, boxing, horse racing. Man, that's, that's something special. <laughs> We're like, oh my gosh, are you being serious? Yeah, they will fit you. They will, because I had a guy put them on with massive wow. hands. There's another one here. <laughs> take that, take this, take that as well. I'm so, I'm so happy. Constitution Hill is like Messi, Ronaldo, Beckham, all rolled into one. Head up a little higher. Richard's physique is just incredible. It's just so lean and perfect. Yeah, very much like a racehorse, you know what I mean? They're not like these massive... <laughs> See? Someone's in agreement here. It's just that perfect form. Now I'm just trying to lose about 75 pounds so I can become a jockey. <laughs> the world's tallest jockey, Richard Riakpo, the midnight train. I'm coming. All right, let me take my time. They don't bite, do they? I think he likes me. That's the first time I've ever interacted with a horse and been been pretty much that close. He started chewing my, my jumper. I thought he probably thought this was uh, <laughs> some green. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a bit interesting. Hey, then. I don't think this is a good <laughs> Man, he's got a ridiculous track record and I kind of see some similarities with me and him. People will say, like Richard, he's just coasting, he's coasting, and bang, just one shot of land and the fight is done. And with Constitution, it's the same thing. He's just coasting, coasting, and bang, he's just off. He put them to bed with that real turn of foot. Constitution Hill in a league of his own. He's an amazing animal in people's perception. I get stopped walking around London by people who have no idea who they are. I say, oh, I know who you are. I love your horse. And what are you doing? Is he going chasing? Is he going hurdling? What's he going to do? Right from the get-go, he seemed to capture people's imagination. Richard, see if you can, just almost just kind of like... I'm going to come in a little bit, go again. Change your position a little bit. Find me, Richard. Beautiful. He seems like an absolutely sweet guy, which is an odd word to use for a boxer, I suppose, who's, you know, can floor people in the second and does most of them, but he seems like a really, really nice person. So I've been a professional for seven years now. It all started off when I was, I was pretty young. I found myself mixed in a wrong crowd, growing on a big council estate, South East London, and I was just getting led astray. I nearly lost my life right here. Um, I was stabbed outside a club here. Um, I came out and I was just approached by a guy asking for, for my phone. I said, no, next thing you know, he stabbed me straight in the chest and I actually thought I was going to die. A friend of mine, he introduced me to boxing and I found out that I had the talent, had power, ended up becoming pro and, and here we are 16 fights later with 16 wins and 12 knockouts and I've completely changed my life. Action, okay. Right. Okay, same thing, the running, right, ready? Okay, perfect, thank you. When I was young, I felt like I didn't have a lot of positive role models in my community. 
I wanted to come back into my community and see if we can kind of guide each other, you know, because everybody needs a bit of support here and there. So the Richard Reactable Foundation is something that's really close to my heart. And now we're doing a lot of initiatives in, in the community, boxing classes, classes on educating about the street life and prevention. It's, it's going really well and we're looking to really broaden it and do some amazing things like community sports days and really take it, take it abroad, take it everywhere. Head down a little more. Coming a bit closer. That's good. I boxed once at school. It was an absolutely miserable experience. But we were 12 years old. We, back, we boxed three rounds, at which point the master said, we don't know who's the winner, have another round. And I got my nose smashed up again, flat out on the floor, age 12, with blood pouring out all over the place. It's been great to meet Constitution Hill, and he was quite polite and quite subtle. He didn't kind of walk up like, hey, I'm the kingpin. I was a bit fearful. I didn't want the Constitution to bite me, but yeah, no, it was, he's, he's pretty cool, very nice. People seem to genuinely sort of be rooting for this horse. It's a wonderful thing to be part of. I thought he was, he was telling me, open the door, because I need to get out. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm gonna see you soon. 